What's up guys, this is YK44 back with you and today we're going to do Sui Hero Lalo under 10 minutes but first introducing my second channel Whack A Doodle, link is in the description, the videos are amazing, go check it out, let's see how quickly we can get this channel to 100 subscribers. So let's dive in now. Alright, we're starting with a ring style base here. Uh, ring bases, I usually don't like Sui Hero, ring bases really hard, both those things. Uh, I don't like, uh, you know, ring bases for Sui Hero, but we're diving in anyways because I got to show you an example here. And you can see we have started with a king and log launcher, queen, roll champion, all diving in. I would say that this tends to work better with a blimp for the town hall, which I tested later on, and by then I already had recorded everything. So, couldn't show you that, but this also works if you're going for a ring style base. It's going to work, and you just gotta wait for the Sui to shape the base. You see how it's happening here, taking out a whole side of the base here. And then we're gonna low low for the town hall. But if you had a blimp, you see the log launcher did not quite take any significant value here. But the blimp, if you send it for the town hall through your Lalo, it could do a better job than the log launcher here. Uh, I, I hope I'm being able to explain what I'm trying to, you know, make you understand. So, we're starting with the Lalo, as you can see here, balloons coming in, hound coming in, warden coming in as well. You'll see we are sending more balloons from the top side of the base just to cut the path of the main group of balloons that we sent for our, uh, the core. Now, these balloons will not get to the core, will not path to the town hall if I do not cut the path using those additional balloons that came from the outside here. So, you can see the balloons are successful in cutting the path for these balloons that we're having going to the core for the town hall. We're ridging up the balloons, we're hitting the warden's ability, protecting all of those balloons, getting the town hall out of the way, get, securing the two star here. And we, I, I just wish I had a couple of more balloons for the back end here. But because all the major defenses are already gone, it really does not matter that much here. You can see the warden, the balloons, Together, we'll be able to snipe the last couple of defenses that are standing here. I do have one more freeze that I'm going to be able to use to protect some of those minions and the Grand Warden to be able to take out these last couple of defenses, which is the Wizard Tower and the Archer Tower. So th that's exactly how this base goes down. It wasn't too easy. I will never say it's, it was easy, but you gotta try and once you do you will eventually build this habit of taking down ring style bases one after the another with high level of practice now instead of ring style base if it was a anti two star base things could have been very different all right so we're jumping in with a box style base here if you know we did this army for three days this is the third day now and i have figured out the way to take out box bases in three days so that is exactly what we're doing here getting to test for teslas or any potential trap in this area and then the flame flinger right behind skelly spell to wake up the town hall which it does so flame flinger will be able to take out the town hall and we will have the sui going for the side compartments for example on this one i will have the sui hero going for the scattershot compartment and also eventually taking down the enemy queen and getting her out of the way and well, we're still waiting for the Flame Flinger to lock onto the Town Hall. I'm taking my time. Patience is key, I would say. But on the other side, you can see the funneling has already begun. We're wall breaking and well, it's just we got to send the heroes in now. Queen, Ice Golem, King and a Headhunter or Skelly Spell both works. Uh, well, I did both here. So Ice Golem froze. Things got frozen up. Queen went down with ease. Skelly's spell is to distract all those point defenses. There are two expos, two cannons, one scatter shot, a lot of damage, I would say. A lot and a lot and a lot of damage. CC troops coming out. Uh, poison spell down to deal with them. I have two poison spells. You can bring one if you want, but two spells really help out in case, you know, just in case something goes wrong. It is a Sui Hero Lalo. You don't really have any other thing to deal with the clan castle troops here. 
Now, Royal Champ's ability is going off here, and uh, you can see Queen will be able to grab one of those Infernos over there, and she might actually even be able to grab the Eagle Artillery over time if we give her enough time, and if she is healthy enough. So, single Inferno goes down, Queen's ability goes off, and she's gonna take out the Sweeper as well. We don't really have much to Lalo, just the right side of the base, and one minute remaining, like 55 seconds. It's gonna be a quick Lalo, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, Balloons are in, Hound as well, Minions behind, and we are just going to push through the core of the base, take down the Eagle, more Hound, and Headhunters also, if needed. A raid spell for the balloons to take out the eagle artillery as quickly as possible. A haste spell, freeze spell all over the scatter shot and the multi inferno, freezing the multi once more. And the expo goes down. The hound is still looking strong here. We still have a one more freeze spell that we can swag easily. Really don't need it for any sort of uh, defenses. And the base really went down. We had two swag balloons to use for cleanup. Hound didn't pop. Freeze spell on the clan castle. And yeah, with that, this base goes down very easily. And that's how you can take down box bases, in my opinion, in the easiest possible way. Well, the three stars on your screen. Alright, we're jumping in for a teaser style box style base. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video so far. Uh, well, we're going to dive in and I can see that there's a significant value for Flame Flinger on one side here. Can you guess the side? Yep, that is the Inferno Tower side because the Scattershot side has Expos over there, so the Flame Flinger will really not get significant value that I'm talking about. So, Yeti in, in case this area is baited. And uh, it's not a single Inferno, it's a multi Inferno, by the way. Uh, if I said single Inferno, I'm sorry. Flame Flinger is in behind. It'll take down the Inferno Tower over there, and then we can start the Sui Hero as soon as uh, there's a little bit of pathing that has been set here. Uh, as soon as that happens, we can start with the Sui Hero. My plan is to send the Sui Hero through the uh, Scattershot compartment. You can see the Queen is being started right now. So the heroes will go into the Scattershot compartment. Queen, if lucky, might be able to grab the Town Hall for us as well. And that will be crucial if she does. So now, wall breaking in for the heroes. King is in as well, Ice Golem to go inside, tank for the heroes. I'll do some skelly spell here, a couple of skellies all dropped together, Headhunter to deal with the enemy king here. And the Royal Champion will also come down eventually from the top side, you can see we've started the Royal Champion, she's just entering the screen and Ice Golem you know, pops, freezes the defenses over there, King's ability goes off, he will be able to take down this scatter shot, and looks like the Queen is actually going to be able to take down the Town Hall for us, which is crucial, which is amazing. World Champ's ability goes off, takes down a couple of more defenses here, let's invisible the Queen, Queen is able to take down the Grand Warden Altar, poison spell for the skellies that come out to distract our World Champion, uh, World Champ's going to go down because she doesn't have her ability but Queen's ability goes off she's able to take down the town hall and guess what uh, that wall break doesn't really work but Queen is actually going to be able to take down the Eagle artillery we have uh, witches coming out of the CC second poison for the witches and the dragon that comes out goes to the Queen so we can freeze the dragon over there Queen will be able to take down the dragon and after that she will be able to go and get the Eagle artillery that is crucial guys that is amazing we only have two compartments to Lalo now. So you can see, for these kind of bases, you need to have a very strong plan for every single compartment. I had a plan for the queen to go grab the eagle, not the eagle, not the, the town hall. So it was just shaping the base into this thing that it is now. It's a straight line, very easy to Lalo. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Either I'm gonna get an L shape or a straight line. And I also have back-end Lalo. You can see that uh, the back-end Lalo is coming for that multi-compartment. Haste spell as well. And a freeze spell. Uh, this base is so crushed. So, so crushed. And that's exactly how you take down these bases. Have plan for every compartment. And you're good. The three star is on your screen. By the way, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to watch the whole uh, second day of learning this army for myself, go watch the video on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.